So you want to know the update about the parasite, right? Well, great news, it's gone. The Basilosis Helminus is gone. I killed it. Now you're probably wondering how I got rid of it and what I did. I did a lot of research, all right? So after the second video, I did update it on my site on Information Cuisine of other links because I was getting obsessive. I wanted to know other things. So I asked some pretty deep questions, a lot of deep questions to do more research. I went into a lot of, um, I went into Myo Clinic. I went to, I forget this other one, which the links are all in the description just so you know. And one th the key thing that I uh, came across was that well, there was a couple. It so it feeds on sugar and it feeds on uh, dairy. That's what I found out. Now the biggest problem I found as a solution, uh, like before I got to the solution, was if everything, if this parasite feeds on sugar, every product on the market, on the planet, every plant, period, has sugar in it. All right, and this is what's difficult why you can't kill it that easily and why people have this controversy and have this idea that it's always going to be around they think it's you know, part of your body. First off, and I know from just thinking about this, if it's gaining your weight and you're feeling bloated and you're in constant pain in your abdomen, just like I was, that is not normal. I don't know why anyone thought that was normal at all. And, but I understand why it's a problem because most people don't realize, for example, eggs, like I eat eggs every day, it has about 0.6% sugar. No one would think that, but everything has sugar. Even kale, you never think kale has it. Every product on the planet has sugar. And that's what's so weird for people to understand. And I was trying to communicate that to a lot of people, but it was really hard for people to get that until I took the results, which got me to the next part. I was asking another big question, what is the life cycle for this parasite? This would determine and tell me how long it lives for, how its uh, feeding cycle is, everything. I want to know that, but we haven't solved that problem. I didn't know. I, so I had to use my intuition on this one and figure this part out. So on one of the sites I, I came across as I got a little more deep because I, I got sick of the pain. I was getting sick of the abdominal pain. It was driving me nuts. and. I, I thought to myself, okay, so I have to starve this out, all right? This is a clear thing. You, you know the life cycle is it feeds on sugar and dairy. So I cut off dairy immediately. So that, in a way, is like a house, you know? Think of it this way, you know? And this is how I imagined it. So it's got a large mansion of a house, like, you know, in my gut. And by cutting the dairy, I've made the house smaller, but it's still there. How do I take that house and demolish it and bulldoze it completely, right? You know, what's it gonna do? And this is where it led me to what it cannot stand. So it cannot stand being around ginger and garlic. But that's all it said. It didn't, it didn't tell you anything else by that. And I was like, uh, okay. So my solution was every meal that I have has to have ginger and garlic. So I went through this brutal thing. At first, it wasn't that yet. I actually was drinking ginger and garlic. So I did a 50-50% ratio in a blender of my Vitamix, and I actually decided I was gonna drink a full pint of this. And let me tell you, I could only get through one ounce of it, or maybe two, or whatever. It was extremely painful. Like the most painful thing I've ever experienced in my life. Think of it as, the you know when you drink water, when you drink water and you haven't drank water for a while, it feels so refreshing and it goes down your throat and you're like, oh, and it, it, it feels amazing. Opposite effect, complete opposite effect. I actually caught up in the ball in my room in so much pain, I couldn't even deliver food to my clients. I couldn't cook for my clients. I just told them, hey, I can't I show up. I can't do anything. I'm sorry. I'm just in a lot of pain. And that sucked. And... So I knew that I couldn't do this every day. There's no way I could not experience that. So that's where I came up with putting in every meal for breakfast. I had it for eggs. I had it in, what's it called, my lunch, my dinner, everything. And I, I started noticing that my weight was going down, which told me, okay, I'm killing this. I'm killing this parasite. That's, that's the way I was able to measure this. And... Sure enough, nine days later, because I treated it like this. You know how doctors say, take these this prescription for 
you know, six to nine days, but please finish the prescription all the way to 10 days because you don't know if it's going to come back. That's where I came up with the idea of doing the bowel movement again because that's why I was going to do the bowel movement about uh, nine days. I did that, did it, and I get a phone call from the nurse, you know, about like a week later or something like that. And she calls me up and is like, um, I just want to let you know, um, you don't have the parasite anymore. Like, the bacillosis is, is gone. She seemed surprised just to hear me say, oh, cool, good. So what I did was it worked. And in their mind, I'm sure they're thinking that the tablets I was taking, uh, Minnesotan, I, I forget, Minazol, Metazol, or something like that. It's been a while, right? <laughs> That's probably what they were thinking, but you know they need to do more research because we need, need to figure out what the life cycle is and everything else. That's how I figured this out. So if you, you're actually trying to do this, turn into a puree, grab that puree, and add it into every meal you have. Don't chop it up. The reason I did a puree because it was going to be a fiber, and there was a way that you know once it's going into your intestines, because I was thinking of it as your intestines, because when I was drinking, and I did do it a couple more times during the week, I did it uh, every two days, which I I'm going to tell you most human beings would not go through that pain. What I did, I did for you know, so in, in, essentially I did it. Yeah, every so, oh God, that's a lot. Even one of my friends got to witness me. Uh, well, both my friends, Ben and Jenison, that witnessed me drinking the ginger and garlic. Um, so the, the, the idea was this. So imagine like a hockey puck. I imagine when I ate, or, and I mean, I drank the, the ginger and garlic, it would come out as a hockey puck in my uh, bowel movement. And then the rest of it would be, you know, what's it called? Uh, ginger garlic in every meal. So the puck would probably clean out the rest of the the parasite But with everything else because I thought to myself there, you know, the food I'm eating will still ha contain sugar in it they, they would be still some sort of sugar for the 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 parasite to eat because you know, they can go around the the ginger and garlic, right? That's that's how I internalized it and uh, made sense of it to me at least is that correct? I don't know. That's the doctor to decide and also scientists to do more research to figure that out. But I, that was what I did to figure that part out. Luckily, it worked. It worked, it killed it off, and I starved it out. That was the point. The whole point of it for doing nine days was to starve out the parasite. And yeah, I, I'm, I'm glad that happened. So if you ever have a, a parasite or something like that, what I had, the Bacillus hominis, uh, for my viewers that are watching this and that you have this, uh, there is a solution getting rid of it. The only thing is I noticed um, after, because I went to Scotland, I went to Scotland and because that was my goal, I wanted to get rid of this uh, parasite before I went to Scotland so I can drink whiskey and you know have a good time with my wife. I was noticing I was gaining weight again, but it was because milk. Uh, I couldn't, my body can't digest anything milk products, which is kind of a bummer because I was noticing that it was in my, my weight. It, it was fluctuating a little bit, so it meant it, my stomach wasn't digesting it because of the, the proteins in milk, which I was like, ah, you're kidding me. So I'm back to normal again. So yeah, I am also lactose intolerant as I come to find out, which is kind of a bummer. But at least I've killed off the, the parasite at the same time. I, I'm very grateful for this. But as a solution so you don't run into this again, because maybe you're in a third world country or a developing uh, country, get filtered water. Boil your water, filter it, or even distill it. Distill your water. That, that's probably going to be the best solution for you so you don't run into it again. But at least you'll recognize this parasite and how to get rid of it by just having ginger and garlic. You know, in every of your meal, uh, every meal, and it'll be gone eventually, and you won't be feeling the pain in your abdomen anymore, and you won't be having the the burping. That's all gone. It's all gone. It's amazing. I'm so glad. I I even have um, my my chest didn't have this. Uh, it was always like like this little lump over it, and now it's uh, in there. So my abs actually show now, which is uh, very exciting for me. All right, thanks for watching. I'm Chef Nicholas Kinnear. If this really did help you out, please click the like button. Don't be afraid to share it to other people. This would, if you know someone that might have this, 
or you know that your friends that could have this and they haven't they haven't been able to go to the doctor because they can't afford it it wouldn't hurt to just try ginger and garlic in every meal i wouldn't suggest it in any even my worst enemy of drinking ginger and garlic but it, if you have to do it do it but it, it's going to cause damage okay there's going to be consequence all right i haven't read up on the consequence of having that because you're essentially what ginger and garlic is doing is killing bacteria and viruses and any kind of pathogen so and th that's the thing because ginger is going through your system and then garlic is going throughout your skin so that's why it's able to work um very effectively all right I'm Chef Nicholas Gnier. Peace.